What's up, everyone? Welcome to our double live monster shoutouts from half the guys in Southern Synagogue. Apparently, this week we're into sea shanties. Maybe it's because we're soon going to cross the Red Sea. We're not quite a Bishalach yet. But I've been asked. challenge I kind of accepted this week, the Wellerman challenge. Apparently it's a big one on TikTok. If anybody wants to throw out another challenge for a half dollar tune, please do post it in the comments. Uh, meanwhile, the world this week uh, lost a very important, uh, profound uh, personality in Rabbi Kelmer of West Hempstead. Uh, West Hempstead on Long Island, Rabbi Kelmer was known as a real tzaddik, a real righteous rabbi, a person who was so well versed in every aspect of Jewish law and at the same time incredible, unbelievable past to someone who really cared for his fellow Jew, fellow human being. Let me share with you a story that I heard about Rabbi Kellerman this week. It begins with a question, a question that we all have, that we've all been dealing with over the last year as we endure these tumultuous times, and sometimes we hear of someone who is in hospital, oftentimes, sadly, Rahman al-Islam, with COVID, and what can you do to help these people? You know, ordinarily, especially as a rabbi or even a friend, you would go in and pay this person a bikocholim visit, and we can't even go into the hospital. Listen to what Rabbi Kelman did. Rabbi Kelman heard that someone was ill in hospital with COVID, and he went out to the cemetery to daven at the caver, at the graveside of this ill person's parents for a refuah shalema for this 
individual. Now, Rabbi Kelma only told his Rebbetzin. He didn't even tell the family. And it was only at the shiva for Rabbi Kelma that this person, who indeed was healed, came out of hospital, was completely up again on their feet, back in life, this person was visiting the Shiva house and the Rebbetzin told the person the story of Rabbi Kelma who had visited and prayed at the graveside of their parents mm -hmm. for, for Shlema. That's the kind of person Rabbi Kelma was. We think that there's nothing you can do. And Rabbi Kelma found a way to be able to help this person, even unbeknownst to them. Now, when I heard this story, I thought, how the world has lost such an amazing individual the only thing I would have done different, may I suggest, friends, is I think that Rabbi Kelman's example is, is incredible. But perhaps when we do a mitzvah like that, if we were to inform the person who is not well, it's great that Rabbi Kelman did this, but Sina did this privately without even boasting about it. But maybe just letting that ill person know what, he, what we do when we do mitzvahs like that. Sure, sometimes we have to do them quietly, but other times it helps this, the healing when people know. Imagine that person in hospital. I know Rabbi Kelmer's prayers, no doubt, uh, didn't even need any extra fluff. But for most of us when we pray, it helps when we tell the person we're praying for that we are praying for them and that we did this for them. Because... Had you or I been lying there in the hospital and heard that the rabbi had made his way, taken time from his day to go out and pray with our parents, of course they're not praying to the deceased, praying along with the deceased, asking the deceased to be intermediaries on our behalf in the best in Shemayla, in the heavenly court. To know that the rabbi is doing that, to know that the rabbi cares that much, and to know that the rabbi is praying there alongside my forebears who are rooting for me. And this is what you need to know. Every decision you make in life, you don't need to be ill. Every decision, every step of the way, your parents and your grandparents and your great-grandparents, all the way back to... Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Leah, our patriarchs and matriarchs, they're all there rooting for you. They're all there cheering for you. They're all there praying for you. You're standing on the shoulders of giants. You're not in this alone. You're not just facing a day-to-day -day choice and thinking, well, who am I to be able to face these challenges? You have people who are praying for you, you have people who are rooting for you, you have people who are cheering for you. They're sitting there in the bleachers and they want you to be victorious. And when you know that, you have the confidence, you have the strength, the power to win. So in the schus and the merit of this story, made the neshama of Rabbi Kelma, Zechat Tzadik Livracha, have an aliyah, have a spiritual elevation. May you all be strong in every aspect of your lives. May this week be a week of blessing and only good health and good fortune in every single aspect, every area of your life. Shavuotov.